Power Book 2, Ghost's third season premiere introduced a new antagonist as well as the fact that Lauren Baldwin was still alive and in witness protection. Through attorney Jenny Sullivan in episode 2, viewers are informed about how Lauren managed to survive her attempted assassination. When Kane demanded that Lauren be fired for knowing a little too much, he handed Brayden the position. He used Lauren to lure Effie into the jungle, where she finished the job. The scheme is foiled by a man walking his dog after Lauren is knocked out and her car is driven into a lake. Here, Sullivan gives the justification for her placement in protective custody. Despite Lauren's desire to be with her parents, who believe she is dead, there is a larger strategy at work. Brayden taking the blame may have cost Sullivan the opportunity to imprison Tariq, but this circumstance allows her another chance. Tariq, Brayden, Effie, and Kane start shifting Noma's weight in the meantime. Furthermore, it is made plain that Obai is eagerly anticipating their failure. Here, the four of them decide how everything will be shared. While Effie targets Ivy League institutions, Brayden is targeting all the country clubs and venues frequented by wealthy white guys. However, after Rashad Tate fires him from his political campaign as a result of the course correct aftermath, Tariq is compelled to intern at the Weston firm. Uncle Lucas is okay with Tariq being there, despite the fact that Tariq's father is completely against it for the purpose of diversity and inclusion. Meanwhile, Brayden begins a passionate relationship with Kiki Travis, an executive at the Weston firm. At the airport, Kane finds the pilot who was meant to take Zeke and Mecca away along with another employee, and he tortures both of them to learn more. The pilot mentions a balding man with a damaged tail light and a black jacket. Monet can now be included in the Rico case that Sullivan is attempting to establish against Tarek. Tarek is enthralled by the hedonistic way of life that many Weston firm employees lead, which includes frequent cocaine use, strippers, and a local personal trainer named Nick who also sells drugs. At this point, Tarek agrees to Braden's suggestion to sell drugs within the company. The two come up with a scheme to do this that involves Kane. Everett, Drew's lover, makes one last effort to patch up their broken relationship by inviting him to an event. Drew is jumped by a man on the way to the event since he killed Lil Guap last season. In addition to stealing his chain with Zeke's ring, the man also spray-painted graffiti on his back. Drew informs Monet, Lorenzo, and Kane that his relationship with Everett has ended right away. Tarek and Brayden travel to Drew to take care of Nick after calling Kane to ask for assistance with their plan but getting no response. Nick is killed when a truck strikes him in the street after Drew shoves him there. The Weston firm now has access to a new medicine source as a result. Kane locates the individual who jumped Drew, murders his two employees, and then gives them to Monet. Monet and Kane are initially duped by Lorenzo into believing the man killed Zeke. After the man responds to some inquiries, Monet shoots him multiple times and has Lorenzo and Kane clean up the area. Kane admits that he knows Lorenzo killed Zeke as he and Lorenzo dispose of the body. He tells Noma, I own you, and uses Lorenzo to press her weight instead of killing him or telling Monet. Sax questions Jenny about the Theo Rollins file, which she hasn't been able to get and she responds by telling him she's putting together a RICO case while she waits for Sachs to provide information. Stephen Ott pays Tate a visit at his new campaign office and informs him that his polling numbers are terrible and that he needs to court younger people and get married. When the bosses discover inflammatory material on his computer, Braden arranges for another intern in the company to be sacked. He and Keek hook up later, when Tarek arrives at Tate's office with the expectation that he will be the new intern. He is shocked to see that Bruce Shandria has taken his place. Braden persuades Tarek to intern at Weston Holdings when he expresses concern that he won't be able to receive course credit for the experience. Kane is informed by Lorenzo that he will not move the merchandise or any other connections. Then he orders Kane to catch Zeke's killer as proof of his abilities. Drew is invited to Everett's signing celebration. Evelyn, Frank's wife, visits the Terrida's home to express her sympathies to Monet and to give some money for her. Although Effie prohibits it, Brayden tells her that he wants to inform Tariq about Lauren. Kane contacts Mecca's pilots, who inform him that the killer's vehicle has a busted tailpipe and that they observed a bald man the night of Zeke's murder. Salem lends Diana books, and later he helps her land a job at the campus candy store. Whitman stops Monet and informs her about the surveillance tape showing her vehicle close to Carrie's apartment on the day of her passing. Additionally, he informs her about Zeke's inquiry regarding Monet's potential complicity in her demise. At the Weston Holdings office, Tarek observes individuals using cocaine. Braden subsequently reveals to Tarek in a strip club that they receive their drugs from Nick, the on-site physical therapist, who works there. Tarek agrees to shift products thereafter realizing how much they could move through the company 
and they come up with a strategy to fire Nick. A GTG member jumps Drew in retaliation for Drew's murder of Lil Guap, as recompense for hiring Brew Shandria as an intern rather than Tariq. Brayden sends Tate money. Jenny is informed by Blanca that her superiors believe they lack sufficient evidence to pursue a RICO prosecution. Whitman, though, approaches and instructs them to concentrate their inquiry on Monet while providing them with new details about Ramirez. Kane chases the person who leaped Drew to a GTG location and grabs him. After Tarek is unable to reach Kane after Everett and Drew break up, Tarek calls Drew for assistance with Nick. Nick is run over by a truck when Drew follows him out of the office and pushes him into the street. Monet shoots the GTG member when Kane reveals him to Lorenzo, and Monet is Zeke's murderer. Davis has been speaking to Monet on his burner phone, which Sachs discovers while snooping through Davis's workplace and dials to find out. Kane admits to Lorenzo that he killed Zeke and that he knows it. Then he claims that he is now his property. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.